life I was gone, then I came alive Thought it all was over Another wounded soldier Dreaming's harder than it seems It's not letting go of me What's there to be afraid of? Time to give it all I made of It's all or nothing all the beginning of the So what do you say about your partner when they're not around? Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. This is a discussion that I had with a group of women the other day, which was really interesting to me. Because some of the girls have been with their partners for two years, some five years. One of them was with their partner for 18 years. Now, this is something that is really a good conversation to have because it's very interesting when you start thinking about where you're at in your partnership. How do I feel about this person? I've been with them for quite a while. How do I come across when I'm talking about them? Do I respect them? Do they respect me? What do I say and how, what does that say about me? I, I really strongly suggest that if you've got a bunch of stuff going on that's bothering you about them and you only feel comfortable venting about it with your friends, then you have to change that scenario in your relationship that you do have a comfort level with your partner. Feeling that you can share this with them. Is there a reason that you can't share it with them? Because majority of relationships that end is because the couple did not sit down and hash out what was going on and what changed the dynamics of their relationship. That's the one of the biggest problems and why things don't progress, you know, for a long commit, committed time. Because people don't have the energy to deal with it. They don't want to deal with it or they think their partner will not be able to sort of discuss it with them. Because maybe they're closed off or maybe they just don't want to talk about anything because that's who the kind of person they are, they're introverted. But you have to say to yourself that you did everything possible. You chose this person to be in your life. So you have to make sure you've done everything possible to make your relationship work. If you feel that you have, and now it's getting to the point where you're only telling other people outside your relationship what's going on, or maybe you're thinking of getting talking to a counselor about it, then it might be time to decide what you're going to do next because you shouldn't be in a relationship where you're spending a lot of time talking about what isn't going on in your relationship because you do have a lot of choices now that you can make your life a happier place. There's counseling sessions, there's so much you can do. So don't sit there and say to yourself, you know, I'm stuck, I can't do anything. I, this is, I made my bed, I gotta lie in this. You don't have to. Have the conversation with your partner. If they're willing to help and make things better, uh, you know, with the reciprocated respect for each other, then maybe you can fix it. But if you're talking about them a lot and making it to be kind of a problem and you're starting to get really bummed out and depressed yourself about where you are in your relationship, you really have to, to, to look at other places that you can put yourself. You don't want to be sad and you don't want to be lonely. There's nothing worse than being lonely when you're lonely when you're in a relationship. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave your comments below the video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Take a match and light the fire. I am courage. I am bold. Turn that call into gold. It's all or nothing, all the beginning.